$25,000 is the most commonly paid price for uh, a vehicle in the United States. And so that's why it's so pivotal that Tesla tried to get to $25,000. Uh, now, Tesla have always said, and we'll get to this in a minute, um, I'll give you a bit of a background about where Tesla are coming from and where they hope to go to. Um, they have always said that they don't want to be marginalised, they want to become mainstream, right from the get-go. So I think it was 2006, Elon Musk tweeted what he said was a bit of a master plan, and he, basically he nailed it, he's, thought that's, he's done really well at that. Um, and now, I, you know, we a lot of us can't go anywhere without seeing a Tesla uh, wherever you go. The desire for people to buy a Tesla is there, um, and so they would sell lots more of them, but it's the ability to pay for them that's the limiting factor. So, um, the, the executives at Tesla, when they did a recent presentation, have said that they are working on a platform, and they've listed out how, exactly how they'll make the platform, um, they'll, they'll make a platform and then that will have a few different types of cars on that platform um, and they've explained um, in particular why that platform allows them to half the production cost of the vehicles themselves and which they can pass that saving on to you. So you can go buy Tesla for twenty five dollars or $30,000. Um, so a bit of a background. Tesla have said from the beginning they don't want to become marginalised, they want to become a mainstream company and to catalyse the transition to renewable energy and electric vehicles. Um, they have also said publicly uh, for years and years and years they want to be able to make and sell a car for $25,000. So it may maybe it's not necessarily possible that you'll get it for $25,000 in the next couple of years. Maybe it's twenty six or twenty seven or twenty eight, but that's near enough. The most commonly sold, uh, the most common price paid for a brand new car is $25,000, which means that if you can get an electric one for the same or maybe a little extra, that's compelling, you know, especially from Tesla. Teslas of late have been producing really quite reliable cars, um, and for $25,000, that's, that's a, a great price. The data shows and the history that Elon Musk generally delivers most of the time, probably 8 out of 10 times, when he says something, he will deliver it. It's either on time or a little bit late, but he delivers it. The sales figures for Tesla, um, if you look at the last five years, are from the, in the last five years. Uh, in 2018, they sold 245,000 cars. Last year, they sold 1.313 million cars, um, which is a huge jump in five years. So, of course, that's selling Model X's, Model 3's, Model Y's, Model S's. So, what we would hope for, for, for to happen next is to see uh, the production of cheaper cars come in and the more expensive cars lower. That's kind of what we would hope for. Vehicle prices have risen dramatically over the past year and they're expected to climb higher in the next couple of years. Among the most 10 most popular cars in the nation, however, uh, they remain much more reasonable. So whilst you can go get a Tesla for sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars, or I don't know, fifty thousand uh, dollars, the most common cars are you know Honda Civics, Honda Accords, Toyota Camrys, Toyota Corolla, twenty-five thousand dollar cars, really well made base model cars with a couple of extras thrown in, uh, twenty-five, twenty-seven thousand dollar cars. I may just make a fantastic argument for you to want to go buy a Tesla, even if you didn't want a Tesla in the first place, and you just want to research them. It's important to remember too, when you compare other manufacturers to a Tesla, generally Teslas give you a lot more bells and whistles, a lot of the extras, like reversing cameras and parking sensors, that sort of stuff. With other brands, um, that can often be quite an expensive cost. So if you look at the Volvo uh, XC40, the uh, electric recharge one, lovely car, but with the base price starts at kind of a competitive price to a Tesla apart from the Tesla comes with huge amounts of stuff on it and the Volvo doesn't and so you have to pay for glass on the roof or you have to pay for um oh there's all there's all sorts of stuff you need to pay for. Here are some screens from uh Tesla that they've said uh, this is how we're going to reduce the cost uh, so they're sort of suggesting that they're going to use a lot less space um 
and a lot less machinery and whatnot to produce these cars, so it would be a much more simple primitive design, I would imagine. These are screens from Tesla, and you can see this is how they plan on doing it. So they're suggesting that the uh, reduction, 40% reduction in manufacturing footprint, uh, and they've made a lovely little screen for you, and then they're suggesting it's going to be half the price in total uh, to produce the next generation platform um, compared to the Model 3 and Y, which would get you a $25,000 car. They're suggesting that more people can work simultaneously on the next generation vehicle. So 44% operator density improvement, 30% space time efficiency improvement, and unbox process. This is kind of um, an imagination as to how it may look as a, as a frame. They can get these big parts, like they'll get massive battery. Nobody knows what it's going to look like. So if you imagine kind of uh, maybe the same as what you've already got, Model Y, Model 3, maybe a bit smaller, maybe a bit more of a hatchbacky type feel, but maybe not actually a hatchback. It might be maybe like a Model 3, but just in some way simpler, less sporty, more basic, you know, that sort of thing. So that's how I imagine it will go. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. I read every single comment. If you want any questions, I will get back to you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, why not just check out my other videos because I make videos about electric cars and the, the very latest of what's happening. And I make videos every single day. So thank you for watching.